In this clip we solve another inequality. The problem here is to find all x in R such that the absolute value of x squared minus x minus 2 is greater or equal than x squared plus x minus 2. Well, the solution is as follows. Well, one, one way to solve this is as follows. First, we try to get rid of the absolute value signs. And the absolute value of the quadratic term depends on the sign of the quadratic term itself. We may factorize it at x plus 1 times x minus 2, from which we see that x plus 1 times x minus 2 is actually positive if x is included in the set minus infinity minus 1 union to infinity. So then we get a plus sign, so just x plus 1 times x minus 2, and we get a minus sign if x is outside the union of those intervals, so in the open interval minus 1, 2. And then we get minus x plus 1 times x minus 2. Now we solve two different problems. We distinguish two different cases. One is where x is indeed in the interval, in the open interval minus 1, 2, then we just have a minus sign in for the absolute value of the quadratic term. So minus x squared plus x plus 2 now should be greater or equal than x squared plus x minus 2. Now this is reduced to a, an easy uh, quadratic inequality. So 2x squared should be less or equal than 4. x squared should be less or equal than 2, so x should be in the interval minus square root of 2, square root of 2. Well, that's a, that is one condition, but recall that x should be in the interval minus 1, 2, so we should further restrict the interval minus square root of 2, square root of 2, to the interval left open minus 1 of 2, where square root of 2 is included. Now the other case. There we have x in minus infinity minus 1 union to infinity, so that the absolute value of x squared minus x minus 2 equals x squared minus x minus 2, which should be greater or equal than x squared plus x minus 2. Now we see that on the left and right hand side, different terms cancel in this inequality. So x squared on the left hand side can be removed uh, just as minus 2 and minus two, uh, 2, minus 2 on the left hand side and the right hand side. So we're left with the condition that 2x should be at most 0, which means that x should be smaller or equal than 0. Combined with the green interval, we see that x should belong to the interval minus infinity minus 1. So adding up, we distinguish two cases and we may look at the union of the cases we found. So x should be x is a solution if and only if it is contained in minus infinity minus 1, where minus 1 is included, union o left open minus 1 square root of 2. But of course, if we look at the union of those intervals, we get minus infinity square root of 2. 